Have you ever wondered why we can't feel the Earth's rotation? It's a question that's left many of us scratching our heads. After all, we're told from a young age that our planet is always on the move. It's spinning, turning, orbiting, and whirling through space at a mind-boggling speed. Yet, here we are, standing, sitting, or lying down, and we don't feel a thing. Let's break it down. The Earth, our home, our spinning marble in the cosmos, rotates on its axis once every 24 hours. This rotation is what gives us our familiar cycle of day and night. As the Earth spins, different parts of it face the sun, bathing in light and warmth, while the other parts turn away, enveloped in the cool darkness of night. But here's the real kicker. Despite this constant rotation, this ceaseless spin, we don't feel it, not one bit. Think about it. If you're on a spinning merry-go-round, you feel the force. You feel the wind in your hair, the world blurs around you. And if you're not holding on tight, well, you might just find yourself flying off into the distance. But the Earth, our gigantic merry-go-round, spins at a speed of over a thousand miles per hour at the equator and we don't feel a thing. No wind in our hair, no blur of the world around us, and certainly no risk of being flung into space. It's a bit of a paradox, isn't it? We're on a planet that's constantly spinning, yet we feel as if we're standing still. We walk without stumbling, pour a cup of coffee without spilling, and we sleep without being rocked by the Earth's rotation. So why don't we feel like we're on a non-stop merry-go-round? Is it because we're just so used to it that we don't notice? Or is there a more scientific explanation for this phenomenon? Well, my curious friends, it turns out there's a lot more to this than meets the eye. So, buckle up and hold on tight as we delve into the like we're on a non-stop merry-go-round. Let's explore. To understand this, we need to grasp two concepts, inertia and gravity. These are two fundamental forces that shape our understanding of the universe, and they play a major role in why we don't feel the Earth spin. Let's start with inertia. Inertia is a property of matter that resists change in motion. Think of it like this. If you've ever tried to push a stalled car, you'll know it takes a lot of effort to get it moving. But once it's moving, it takes much less effort to keep it going. That's inertia in action. The Earth, like that stalled car, has a lot of inertia due to its massive size. This means that once it started spinning, it continues to do so with little effort. Now let's talk about gravity. It's the force that pulls everything towards the Earth's center. It's why when you jump, you come back down instead of floating away. Gravity keeps us grounded, quite literally. But how do these two forces interact? Well, the Earth's spin creates a centrifugal force, which tries to fling everything on Earth outwards. But don't worry, gravity is here to save the day. It counteracts this outward force, pulling everything back towards the Earth's center. So we have the Earth's inertia keeping it spinning, and gravity keeping us grounded. This delicate balance of forces allows us to live our lives without feeling like we're on a non-stop merry-go-round. And what about the speed of the Earth's rotation? Well, it's actually moving incredibly fast, spinning at over a thousand miles per hour at the equator. But because we're moving with it, and because the motion is so smooth and consistent, we don't feel it. So inertia and gravity are playing a cosmic tug of war. But how does this explain our inability to feel the Earth's spin? Let's consider speed. We don't feel speed, we feel changes in speed. It's an intriguing concept, isn't it? But it's something we experience every day without even realizing it. Let's dive into this a bit more. Imagine you're in a car, cruising along the highway at a steady 60 miles an hour. You're not gripping the seat. Your heart rate is normal. You might even be calmly admiring the scenery whizzing by. You're moving at quite a clip, but you don't feel the speed, do you? That's because you're moving at a constant velocity. Now picture this. You're in that same car, but this time the driver suddenly steps on the gas pedal. You're thrust back into your seat. Your heart rate quickens, and your grip on the door handle tightens. That's acceleration. You're feeling the change in speed. The reverse is also true. If the driver slams on the brakes, you lurch forward, seat belts strain against your chest, and you instinctively reach out to brace yourself. That's deceleration. Again, you're experiencing a change in speed. In essence, our bodies are finely tuned to detect changes in our motion. Whether we're speeding up, slowing down, or changing direction, these variations send signals to our brain, making us aware of our movement. But when we're moving at a steady pace, our bodies don't register the motion. 
We're not designed to feel speed. We're designed to feel changes in speed. Let's bring this concept back to the grand scale of our planet. The Earth is rotating at an impressive speed of over 1,000 miles per hour. Yet just like in the car, we don't feel this speed. Why? Because the Earth's rotation is consistent. It doesn't speed up or slow down. It maintains a steady, constant velocity. So herein lies the answer to our big question. Despite spinning at a staggering rate, we don't feel the Earth's rotation because it's constant. There's no acceleration or deceleration, just a steady spin. Since the Earth rotates at a consistent speed, we don't feel its rotation. But what about the movement we see in the sky? Well, that's another interesting facet of our spinning home. Have you ever sat back and watched the sun dip below the horizon, painting the sky in hues of orange, purple and pink? Or perhaps you've gazed up at the night sky, marvelling as the stars appear to glide across the heavens. These are everyday experiences for us, so much so that it's easy to believe that it's the sun, moon and stars that are moving. But here's the kicker. It's not them. It's us. That's right. The apparent motion of the sun, moon and stars across our sky is actually due to the rotation of our own planet. It's Earth that's spinning on its axis, while these celestial bodies remain relatively still. This rotation gives us the illusion that we're stationary and everything else is moving around us. Think about it. If you're sitting in a train and it starts to move, the landscape outside appears to slide past you. But you're the one moving, not the landscape. It's the same with our planet. We're on a spinning ride, but everything feels still to us. This illusion is so powerful that it fooled humanity for centuries. Ancient civilizations believed that the Earth was at the center of the universe and everything else revolved around us. Even today it's hard to shake off the feeling of stillness. But why does this happen? It's largely because of our limited perspective. We're so small compared to the vastness of space and we're so deeply embedded in our planet's motion that we can't perceive the spin. It's like being a tiny speck on a giant spinning top. So the next time you watch a sunset or see the stars moving across the sky, Remember this, you're not watching them move. You're feeling the earth spin beneath you, even if it doesn't seem like it. It's all a matter of perspective, isn't it? So to wrap up, why can't we feel the earth's rotation? In our journey so far, we've come across some intriguing concepts. We've discovered that our home earth is spinning, but in a quiet, inconspicuous manner. This is due to a couple of fascinating scientific principles, inertia and gravity. Inertia, as you may recall, is the property of matter that keeps it moving in a straight line at a constant speed, unless acted upon by an external force. In the case of Earth, this external force is gravity, which pulls everything towards the center of the planet, keeping us grounded and preventing us from being flung out into space due to Earth's spin. However, it's not just inertia and gravity that play a part. It's also about our perception of speed. We humans are strange creatures, we don't feel speed, instead we sense changes in speed, when we're in a car going at a constant 70 miles per hour, we don't really feel that we're moving, but as soon as the car accelerates or decelerates, we feel it. Similarly, since the Earth rotates at a constant speed, we don't feel its rotation. Then there's the illusion of stillness. When we gaze up at the sky, we see the sun rise and set, and the stars sweep across the night, giving us the impression that they're moving, and we're standing still. This apparent motion of celestial bodies creates a convincing illusion that we're not moving when, in fact, we're spinning with the Earth at over a thousand miles per hour. It's a concoction of these principles and perceptions that results in the unfelt spin of our planet. The Earth, with its constant speed, its gravity and its clever disguise of stillness, ensures that we don't feel like we're on a never-ending carousel ride. Next time you look up at the sky, Remember that you're on a spinning planet, even if you can't feel the ride.